What's up, everybody? The PlayStation 5 is an awesome device, but unfortunately, it only comes with one terabyte of console storage. And of that one terabyte, you really only get about 667 gigabytes of space. That's almost half of one terabyte. So if you're like me and you consistently find yourself having to delete older games in order to make space for new ones, then I highly recommend you make use of the PlayStation 5's M2 expansion slot, which can provide you with upwards of an additional 8 terabytes of storage. In this video, I'll go through installing and formatting my WD Black M2 SSD that I purchased. Following that, I'll take you through the process of moving all of my games from the PlayStation 5's console storage onto the newly installed M2 SSD storage. I also have a number of PlayStation 5 games currently stored on my USB extended storage device, which is a WD Black P10 game drive, by the way. I'll go through the steps to move those games onto the M2 SSD storage as well. Now, I decided on purchasing the WD Black M2 SSD instead of another PlayStation 5 compatible SSD because I really like the WD Black brand. Besides performing well, these drives just look really cool. If you haven't seen my videos about the WD Black P10 game drive, I highly recommend it for anyone looking for a great external storage solution for their PS4 or PS5. Regarding the storage size of the drive, I went with the 2TB capacity as I thought that was a significant enough increase in my PlayStation 5 storage to accommodate me for quite some time. Also, it was on sale, and anything past the 2 terabyte mark is when you really start to break the bank. So with all that said, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you'll need to do is lay your PlayStation 5 down on its side with the disk drive facing upwards. Position your hands on opposite sides of the faceplate, as I'm doing now, and lift up and towards the disk drive to remove the faceplate. So now that you've removed the faceplate, you can see the insides of the PlayStation 5, including the expansion slot cover, which is what I'm going to be removing in order to install my SSD storage device. The expansion slot cover is held in place by a single Phillips head screw. Here's an up-close look at the WD Black SSD that I'm installing. As you can see, it has the same look and feel as the rest of the WD Black series of storage devices, the 2TB drive, and it's really only about 3 inches in length altogether. So let's get this installed and see what happens. All right, so make sure you have a Phillips head screwdriver so that you can remove the single screw that holds the expansion slot cover in place. Once you get this removed, make sure you put it somewhere that you can easily find it. It's a pretty small piece of hardware. I would recommend placing it on the PS5 faceplate that you just removed. That way it's easy for you to find. Now that you've removed that, you'll have access to the expansion slot cover, and it's a bit of a hassle to remove, so you may need to get your fingernails in there. It took me a few moments to remove that. All right, so now you're on the home stretch. With the expansion slot cover removed, you can now see another small screw along with an accompanying washer. You're gonna remove this and put it aside for a moment. This will be what you secure your SSD drive with. So again, make sure you put it aside, preferably on the PS5 faceplate so you can easily find it. It's even smaller than the previous screw you just removed. Uh, the washer, as you can see here, is also very small, and it's a bit of a hassle getting out of there. So now insert the WD Black SSD into the storage slot. You'll need to insert this at an angle, and just be sure to line up the SSD's pins with the port correctly. Be aware that the SSD will want to spring upward until you've secured it with the screw and its accompanying washer. Once you do that, it'll be firmly secure and you'll be good to go. With the SSD now installed, you'll just have to put everything back together. Make sure you don't over tighten any of the screws. I would just recommend that they're nice and snug but not overly torqued down. Finally, place the PS5 faceplate back over the console, and you should hear a snap once you've slid the faceplate back into its original position. Okay, so now that you have your SSD installed and your PlayStation has been turned back on, you'll be presented with this message pertaining to your M2 SSD storage device. Uh, it's going to tell you that you need to format it, and you're going to go ahead and do that, otherwise you won't be able to use it. This takes about... 60 seconds at most, so go ahead and select Format M2 SSD on the right and let it proceed with formatting it.
All right, so now that that's done, it's going to present you with the read speed. Read speed, 6,522 megabytes per second. Hit OK and proceed. And then it tells you your M2 SSD has been formatted. To change where your games are installed, go to Settings, Storage, Installation, Location. And to safely remove your M2 SSD, turn off your PlayStation 5 first. Okay, now that your drive is formatted, we can start moving your games over to it. You're going to go up to the Settings button, the cog on the upper right next to your profile picture. Select that. And then you're going to scroll down to Storage. And now you see console storage, and below it, M2 SSD storage. That's the storage you just installed. And it's a full two terabytes of additional space to install games on now. Okay, now go to your game library so that you can start moving games across to your M2 SSD. You can either select a game on the home menu or the game library as I'm doing now. Use the option button, which is the button to the right of the touchpad. And down in the menu, you're going to select move games and apps. And what it will do is it'll take you to a new menu with your games and apps and console storage. And from here, you can select any or all of the games and apps that you want to copy over to your SSD. And in this instance, we're going to select everything. And then we're going to move it over so that everything is at home on the WD Black SSD. Once you've selected all the games and apps to be copied over to your M2 SSD, the last thing you'll need to do is select the Move button on the right, which will present you with another screen confirming your items selected to be moved to the M2 SSD. The screen will present you with a list of all the items that you selected, and you're just going to hit OK, and from here the copy will start. For the sake of time, I sped up the video, but as you can see here, the rate at which the games are copying is pretty quick, and that's due to the fact that we're copying from one SSD to another. This is just about done, and it'll finish copying 305 gigs in just over three and a half minutes. Okay, now, so you've moved all your games from the console storage to the M2 SSD storage. Now we're going to do the same thing from the extended storage to the M2 SSD storage. So once the list comes up, scroll down to your PS5 titles. Like I said, I'm keeping the extended storage primarily for PlayStation 4 games. I have a few PS5 games in here. Once you find a title, hit the Options button, and it'll bring up the menu for you, and then you're going to go to Select Items to Move. That'll bring you to this menu right here. And at the top, it says Movable to Console Storage. And to the right, it says Movable to M2 SSD. You'll want to make sure that it's selected on Movable to M2 SSD. So I've got Resident Evil 4 selected because that's a PlayStation 5 title. And then I'm just going to go down through the list, Callisto Protocol, and proceed to select all my PlayStation 5 games, Robocop, and make sure that those get moved over to the M2 SSD that we just installed. And that's it. So go to Move. And again, it'll provide you the list. We've got 230 gigabytes that we're going to move from the extended storage to the M2 SSD storage. And since the extended storage that I'm using is a standard hard disk drive, the copy speed on this to the SSD would be quite time consuming. So for the sake of video, I cut that out. And so those have been copied over now. So we have everything on the M2 SSD storage. Now if you back out to the previous window, we'll take a look at the M2 SSD storage where we've been copying all of this content. And you can see now that there is 536 gigs of games and apps, all that copied from the console storage, as well as the extended storage. So now with all of your games copied over to your newly installed extended SSD storage, I have one more recommendation for you that will keep your game installations nice and tidy. Within the Settings menu under Storage, you will want to select Installation Location, which will allow you to set the default installation location for games and apps. I'm going to set my PlayStation 5 games and apps to M2 SSD storage and my PlayStation 4 games and apps to USB extended storage. This will ensure from now on that nothing gets installed on my console storage, and I can count on having adequate drive space for both my PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 games on their respective drives. 
Yeah, so there you have it. Installing an SSD expansion device into your PS5 is a pretty straightforward affair, and it will afford you a lot more flexibility with your game installations. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I've put links into the description uh, with my WD Black SSD that I purchased. Please drop me some comments about which SSD you decided to go with, if you're planning on purchasing an expansion SSD for your PlayStation 5, or if you have any questions at all related to the video. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you all on next one. Peace.